AFL history has been made with the Gold Coast granted a licence to become the league's 17th team. The deal, which caught many by surprise, includes a new $130 million stadium at Carrara. For AFL fans, this is a dream come true. I'm pleased to announce that the AFL Commission has resolved by resolution to award the Gold Coast Football Club a licence to become the 17th club in the AFL competition. <laughs> It took 12 months of hard work, but the deal's done. In 2011, the Gold Coast Football Club will play its first game. I was very relieved uh, uh, when he stood up and made that announcement. The announcement wasn't expected today. It was supposed to be a jersey presentation for the under-18s. These players now the future stars. Oh, obviously, it's a big honour and privilege to be captain of the first Gold Coast AFL club. You know. Parents definitely very proud. I can tell you that the, uh, the, all those young lads you saw there, you know, they'll be household names on the, in the Gold Coast in a few years. The club already has a major sponsor, but it was the Queensland Premier's $60 million election promise that sealed the deal. But this was a politically risky thing to announce during an election campaign. I did it because I honestly believe that it will be great for the Gold Coast. This is the home of the new Gold Coast Football Club. Over the next two years, the grounds here at Carrara will be transformed into a 25,000-seat stadium. It'll cost $130 million, but it's expected to bring in much more revenue for the Gold Coast. We'll do everything we can to have a strong 17-team competition before we go to 18. Premier Bly believes it won't be long before the GCFC wins their first flag. I don't have to be diplomatic like Andrew. I reckon four years is a conservative <laughs> estimate. <laughs> Bianca Stone, 10 News.